What it do, YouTube? What it do? All right, so today's episode, we're going to talk about the CV-70s, better known as Compton Barrio 70s. It's a small hood out here in Compton, located around Alameda Street by Alondra Boulevard to Compton Boulevard. They got a lot of enemies within their city, so it's very important for this hood to continue drafting people into their set, or else their hood will die out and no longer exist. Now, every gang in California, you'll have wannabes from the set you know those guys that have best friends from the gang what normally happens is that they'll start coming to the hood more and more each and every day soon they'll start becoming little wannabes from the turf because now they're telling people that they are from the hood soon you'll start seeing them throwing up gang signs and even graffiti the hood up on the walls for everyone to see but in reality they haven't been officially put on yet but this is what usually happens and how it starts for most gang bangers out here well anyways that was the case for this kid from cv70 he has been coming to the hood every day and claiming the turf now the hood decided that this individual fits all their criteria and passed all of the tests so now it's time for him to get put on when it comes time for him to get put on they notice that this kid is having second thoughts about it green got this nigga bitching out from the hood All right, I'm gonna stop it right there. Did you guys hear what his big homie said? He said everybody thinks you're from the hood anyway, so it's time to get put on now. He is not lying. When an enemy pulls up, he already labeled them from being from CV70. It's because you're out there with them every day. So now it's time to get put on, my boy. Do you guys know what my boy said? He told them, let me think about it, and I'll get back to you with my answer next week. My boy said that like it was a job interview or something. <laughs> they told him that there was nothing to think about and that they're gonna put him on the hood anyways my boy did the unthinkable thing he seen them taking their shirt off so that's when he decided it was the best time to run up out of the alley my boy ran like he was allergic to the hood or something my boy ran faster than ricky from boys in the hood when he was in that alley hey green hold this real quick now most people are gonna call him a mark and a buster and i ain't gonna lie maybe he is one but him running away from a put on was probably the best decision this kid ever made in his life he will look back on this someday and will be happy with the decision that he made you know when he finds out that his friends over there either got life or is in the grave now i don't know why that kid from cv70s kept chasing up after him let my boy go because those type of guys will be the first one to snitch on you when things get tricky you don't need people who ain't got no heart joining the set anyways let them go and be successful this lifestyle is not for everybody anyways to that kid that ran if you're watching this video right now go on to college and make your mom and dad proud the gang life is a dead-end road my boy so you made the right decision in becoming a civilian no matter what anybody says you're a real man because you didn't let others pressure you into joining the gang even though you live in a gang infested area go on and be great out there my boy hood news media the show lives on my boy you guys let me know what you guys think like and subscribe to my channel peace i'm out